the 3rd of March 2016 so I'm getting there slowly but surely there's loads to do and I'm a bit pedantic about how I do it um, got some plants here ready to be potted up so another cucumber oh sorry another tomato some cucumbers aubergines a uh, few peppers um, and some cauliflower and cabbage uh, brought the kefir lime back up so they're going to um, be bathed in light, natural light and artificial light. Um, got more, well, there's just a stream of plants coming on the on the propagation benches. Uh, we've got some straw, uh, raspberry rice actually, just, just propagated that, so that just needs potting up. Um, very simple, just show you all again so you don't already know. A tray, an aqua valve, an aqua valve cover, 30 mil of cocoa, um, the right density so that the pots don't sag. Pre-soak this thoroughly, don't let the flood the tray, actually submerse it completely for a minimum of an hour or two. And then soak this for 10-15 minutes, the copper coated fabric. Um, and then it's just simply connected to a tank up above. And the gravity does all the work for you. Put some food in there. And then each valve and each tray, I've just put, I'm just doing another check of valves and we're gonna launch a green um, aqua valve, um, just exactly the same. A few little mods here and there, no one really knows about. And then just, um, it's going to be green nozzle, green silicons. So, yeah, no, all's going really well. Just, uh, like I said, I'm just getting everything together. There's banana and the papaya. I've just put it under a sun spectrum light, so we'll see how it goes. They have been in for the last month under this rise light. This is a 400 watt light or 440. Um, I've got three tomatoes in each 25 litre pot. The tomatoes, can't remember what the strains are. Uh, let's have a look, let's go over here. I've got tomato yellow stuffer. I've got, what's that one? Baby pink plum. And then this one's marmalade, which is, I think, is, uh, what is it? It's a beefsteak tomato. Four different types of substrate. Canalita. I've got the Cocoa Rocks from Growth Technology, which I think is 50-50 cocoa and pebbles. I've got the Mills um, Cocoa and Cork. And I've got Plant Magics, but I've mixed it with some perlite, about 40% perlite. This one here, is. these are two different plants. I'll talk about those in a sec. As you can see, if I come back, the cannellita struggled initially because I don't think there's enough capillary lift on it. Um, so I've had to hand water them, but the heads are looking strong now, so I think the roots have got down to the bottom. Um, but we're just going to do a trial, and then these are all going to go across the beams up above, all different directions. I've got two plants, two plants in this pot, um, with a third cocoa and cork, a third light mix, and a third um, perlite. I've also put charge in this one, and it's got from um, from Gareth, um, and um, I'm going to see what the difference is. I'm going to do some other other vegetables, root vegetables with uh, with charge, and see what happens there. Uh, but there, that's okay. And then over here, I've got another LED, which is the Fighter Lux LED. It's an unusual one. Take a step back. So I've just got some tomatoes under here. Um, these, are, well, there's the other two. These are sun gold, um, and they're without the charge. And I've just got more over here. So yeah, we're getting there in the end. That's quite a bit to do. My lettuce trial, just not enough light underneath, so I might have to put some side lights on to see what happens. But I've not got enough light, not enough light at the moment, and I've not got all the lights set up. But uh, yeah, it's uh, slowly, slowly getting there, but it takes its time. Well, I take my time. But no, it's uh, probably in about another six weeks, we should sort of have it pretty much all laid out and uh, all the plants in position.